Hey everyone, I'm here to play some games of uh, Tennis World Tour and also talk a little bit about the next one, Tennis World Tour 2, which will be uh, launched at uh, September 24. We are 13 days. Uh, of uh, its release and uh, I want to talk a little bit about the improvements that I that I saw with the gameplays and the uh, trailers all these kind of things and um, let's see I'm gonna play a few games and uh, talk a little bit about the about the game, what I think of the first one, what I think about the, the, the second one. And uh, let's see, we'll play on professional. And uh, here, yeah. Well, um, as you know, my favorite games, my favorite game to play on the console is uh, AO Tennis 2 I think it's a very good simulator of tennis it has uh, a lot of problems like uh, the forehand slices which is, is something that really right bothers me a lot the left -hander has to use his cross -court forehand as much as possible okay John into making errors. then uh, also the slices uh, returns of serve which is pretty unrealistic I think this game tennis world 2 tennis world tour 1 is more fluid than the than AO tennis but it's too arcade I don't like it we barely see unforced airs or winners you know like talking about uh, about the um, not not about the AI but with, but with player against player you know the AI sometimes makes some unfortunate air horse what the hell was that man but then another problem Rafa gets every single shot he's everywhere the players run like I don't know what man it's too arcade, you know, and uh, that's not the type of, of game that I enjoy playing, you know. I prefer playing AO Tennis 2 a lot, a lot more. Even with its problems, you know, tennis, uh, AO Tennis 2 has lots of problems. The AI is totally dumb on that game. I mean, if you get a chance to play uh, against a friend, that's another game, AO Tennis 2. It's a good experience of tennis, really. But here, as you can see, look at that. 40 shot rally. Oh, that's a nice winner, but I mean, It's not even close to a tennis simulation, you know, not even close. It's easy to play, it's easy to master. Uh, you don't have to, you know, how can, how can I say that? You don't have to understand anything about tennis to play this game, you know. It's too easy. I, I, can't, I can't miss a shot, it's, it's, it's pretty rare, you know, to... Look. Roger Feather run, runs like run, run like Novak runs like Novak. You know, I think these tennis games they, they need to to put more individualism, you know, for the players. Rafa is, is making like four mistakes in a single game and me as Roger not even once, you know. 
So as I, as I, I told you, I prefer 10 times playing a simulator, simulation game, you know. And uh, to be honest, now talking about the, the sequel, How? How I really can see many improvements. I can see many improvements. Oh, it looks like the players uh, behave more realistic. They uh, can generate more power, which here is almost impossible. I don't have a, a button to, to accelerate the shots. And if I press, like, look that, I'm pressing hard, you know, the, the button. And the ball doesn't, doesn't go, you know, the ball the forehand goes wide. No this is low anyway. And I can hit winners. It's, it's really difficult to hit winners. And then it's something I uh, I could realize on the game place of tennis world 2 two. We can hit winners, you know, from the baseline. We don't need to to put like a Nadal to to run like this to try to hit a winner, you know. We can hit baseline winners, which is a uh, which already makes the game a lot better, that's for sure. And then another thing I saw in the game plays, uh, unforced errors by the uh, by not not only by the AI but the player, you know. As I said, I can't I can hit uh, an unforced error here. Here, I can't I can try but I I won't be able to, you know. I press like. 50 seconds the X button and they don't hit the ball long you know the ball goes inside the court you know that's what I'm saying I need a uh, better simulation of tennis the graphics uh, of uh, tennis or to chew also seems to be it seems to be uh, way better than the first one I don't think this is a bad graphics, but for a PS4, you know, it's not that good, you know. You can see uh, Pro Evolution Soccer and also even FIFA or UFC sports game, and uh, which will 10 times better graphics, you know. And I thought, I thought I was hitting this ball out, but no. And I thought in the, f in the second game, looks like the graphics are better which is nice you know the players um, they look like human beings this time you know not like dolls you know what I mean it's more realistic the graphics but the biggest problem I'm seeing in the sequel Tennis to Chu is the lack of individualism in the shots, you know, like Rafa hits the same as Goffin or Vavrinka, you know, they hit the same. And I think that's the most important thing for a tennis game. You have to put the the player's unique styles, you know. Rafa needs to hit his uh he needs to hit his forehand, you know. Above the the head. And uh, Roger needs to, to hit effortless, you know, than, than Rafa or than Stan. That's what you, you need to do for, for, tennis, for tennis simulation to be good, you know. And I'm not seeing that in Tennis World Tour 2. Actually, I saw the gameplay of uh, Rafa against uh, Medvedev. They showed us today. And I really like it, you know. the. the it's really fluid it's really fast we can hit winners um, they they don't run like nice nice shot they don't run like hell you know they look like players the graphics are a lot better but the lack of individualism the lack of the uh, the shots you know the different shots like from Rafa to Daniel it's something that really bothers me but still it's a lot better game than the first one I'm showing you here I volleyed that ball and Roger didn't do anything you know I pressed the button 
So it's this game here is uh, definitely one of the worst tennis games I've played, to be honest. It is not, you know, totally a uh, shit game. You, know, you can play, you can, you can have fun, maybe. I will try to go to that again. Let's see what happens. Look, look, look. The volley is just... All the volleys are slow, you know. You cannot finish the point with the volley. All the players play the same. I think here Rafa hits sometimes his, uh, his forehand, you know. Sometimes, which I didn't see. In the sequel. But let's see, let's see. Let's see in the final version. I hope they can put this kind of things, you know. I don't know if they, they will, but I really hope so. Look at that. Roger, Roger runs like Novak, doesn't miss a shot like Rafa. <laughs> you know. Look at that, man. Look at that. It's too arcade, you know. It's not a terrible game, but it's too arcade. I don't want that, you know. I don't want to play an arcade game. I want to play a simulation game. Only Rafa makes the air horse, you know. Well, so that these were my my thoughts on this uh, franchise. I really can see a uh, future for the next games. You know, I, I really, I really uh, feel like the second one will be a lot more playable, a lot more fun to play. You know, to play online. The online game, the online server here is terrible, man. You can't play online with this this game. It's impossible. It's not. It's not bad. It's impossible to play online this game. I don't know how to describe it for you, but I think in the sequel will be a lot better. The service will be will be fine, and uh, I think I'm really I'm really confident for this next game. Really, really, I've already pre-ordered it to uh, to get the uh, the legends, you know, Guga and Safin. And I got the uh, the Ace Edition, you know, to have the competitions. As I'm a really tennis, big tennis fan. Look, 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 look. Nothing happened. But if I wasn't a big tennis fan, I would buy the uh, the other version, you know, the cheaper one. Well, we hope. Uh, this game is gonna be good, and uh, when I get it, I will uh, I will put a gameplay video here for you. Maybe Feather against Nadal, or I don't know. Oh, also another thing I forgot. I think the roster for the game is really good, really good. I think all the great players are there, which is great. Of course, we don't have Novak, but I have the feeling that we are going to, to have Andy Murray which I love to, to, to play with and love to watch him we won't, we won't have Novak but we do have uh, Roger, we do have Rafa, we have Fabio Fonini, we have Nick Kyrgios, Medvedev Tsitsipas, Verev, Chin, so it's a great roster and uh, but I wish they could add the uh, creator uh, they, they, they added in AO Tennis too, but they won't, they won't, they won't do that, they won't let us uh, download players from the community, so, but the game, the game must be good, you know, must play good, have to, 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 to have good modes, a nice career, uh, good uh, online modes, and, uh, and then, it will be already great game and uh, uh, if I have to say to you I feel like this is going to be the, the best tennis game for console ever of course for uh, PC we have uh, tennis elbow which is by far the best simulation by far I can tell you that but for console of course I like it top spin 4 um, I love a top spin 3 I thought top spin 3 was even better than the 4 and uh, I think AO Tennis 2, uh, for me, plays better than Topspin. So for me, the best 
best game we have for console right now is AO Tennis. I understand who doesn't feel the same. But I think Tennis World Tour 2 is going to take another step, you know? Let's see. Uh, I see you September 24 with some gameplay. And thanks for watching. Bye bye. Not far from being the